Ring out the bells tonight, Bethlehem, Bethlehem. No, we've forgotten it. Yeah, well. Wow. filming this Christmas special now and it's kind of getting tinsel out and stuff like that and, and it's, well, it's the summer <laughs> still. And lots of times, you know, everyone's in coats and wrapped up warm with scarves and hats and it's 22 degrees and so as soon as, you, as, soon as I call Kite, I'm ripping off clothes. At the moment, I've taken all my layers off, but I've got loads of layers. I've got gloves, willy, big willy coat, you know, and it's so hot. We've been singing Christmas songs. It's really Christmassy, Silent Night. Come all ye faithful. It's, yeah, it's been great. Follow the star tonight. Bethlehem, Bethlehem. Christmas special starts sort of three months on. I find out that there's a guy that can deal powers, which means that I want to get rid of my power, so I get rid of it. Yeah, they all lose their superpowers in this episode, and it's, uh, it's very troubling when something goes wrong. Shoot me. I'm immortal. No, you're not! Oh, yeah, Gina! Vicky! I mean, it makes it that whole situation very, very, very difficult because he can't, can't save his girlfriend. So um, I think the other episode is really funny. I think he's got he's got a huge conflict in it. Getting rid of the power is like an amazing thing. Suddenly you can touch people. The reason me and Curtis basically broke up was because we couldn't really be intimate at all with each other. It's really liberating. Kiss me. Because of the sort of weight of having to live up to his future self, who is, um, you know, so much more confident and, and sort of worldly than him, and he's got to live up to that, to some very high standards. I was shit. Oh, so you're after some sex tips from a far more experienced lover. Two words, fisherman's friend. Isn't that a cough sweet? You pop one of those bad boys in your mouth and then you head due south and you pleasure her, orally. And it's the menthol. I think that young lady's gonna have a very merry Christmas. I'll tell you something else, man. If the girl's pregnant, it makes the baby kick like a nutter. And my girlfriend uh, in this episode is lovely. Both have uh, large stomachs, but for different reasons. And uh, yeah, they're both of the same species. We should probably go for a drink. Swap some funny stories. See if we have similar tastes and interests. Overcome some emotional hurdles. Well, I thought it was going to be a bit daunting, but it's been really lovely. I really got on with everyone. Sort of just really sort of welcome you in. It's really nice. You looking forward to that? <laughs> Lucky girl. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. You're giving birth to an alien! Get it out! Get it out! Oh my god! Placente people! I didn't think it was that big. It's fucking huge, mate. It's like a fucking apple tart. Touch it. Touch it. And it's gonna splodge open. Such fun, we all got on really well. And they all are a bit like their characters in the show. Actually, that's, that's part of the skill of being a good actor, is bringing something of yourself and making those parts real. Bethlehem, Bethlehem. You seriously lost your call. Cool. Oh, shut up, it's Christmas. As in Superman, when they he's, when he gets rid of his powers and General Zod takes over the world, um, they realise that um, things are going wrong and they don't have the superpowers to do anything to save the day. Um, so they try to uh, purchase them back. Is there any reason why we have to have the same powers as we were before? Mine died, but that Jesus guy. With Seth, the you know the main five can you know can do whatever they want. You know they can 
have any, any, any power. Yeah, I think it would be exciting to have new powers. A lot of the character is, is based on the power, but the power kind of came after I'd sort of discovered the character. Not daunting, I think it's exciting, isn't it? What, what wonderful powers are out there. It's exciting, that's what it is. I want to be able to do different, different things in Misfits. So, um, so the scope, you know, for, for anything in this show now.